Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about powerful features for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra using your S Pen. S Pen is a powerful tool, allows you to write and sketch with precision. If you're an artist, you can use it to draw anything. But on top of that, it has some great hidden features and productivity features that I want you guys to learn. All right, so let's dive in and get started with number one. This is one of the most important features in my opinion. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings and then you want to go into advanced features and then you wanna tap on S Pen. At the bottom, you're gonna see more S Pen settings. You click on that guy and what you wanna do is you want to enable this option. So you can see my S Pen is sitting right here. It even tells me when it was removed, even the exact time. So in this case, it was removed at 11.32 p.m., which was only seven minutes ago. So you get that information at the bottom here, and also you wanna make sure this is in fact enabled. So now, if I remove my S Pen and I put it on the table after I use it, and then I grab my phone and I walk away, what's gonna happen is when I get just a little bit further from the S Pen, it is going to, in fact, alert me. The phone is going to give me an alert saying that I'm leaving the S Pen behind. So now I can go get it and put it back in the phone so I don't have to go and buy a new one if I end up losing this guy. The new S Pen is almost $50. The next thing I wanna quickly talk about also is in the same menu. It's the sounds and vibrations. So basically when you remove your S Pen or even when you write with the S Pen, let me just bring up the notes real quick. Let's say create a note. When you write with the S Pen, you can hear that it gives you that feedback, the sound feedback of writing something. If you don't need those things, you can in fact turn them off and you are gonna get a benefit when you turn them off and what that's gonna be is it is going to improve the battery life of your phone. If that's a concern, for the most part, it's not a big deal, but if you don't like the sound, you can disable it. You can also disable all the vibrational feedback you get from the S Pen. Again, that will save you battery, and also if sounds and vibrations are annoying to you personally, you can get rid of them. Just a layer of customization. All right, so next up, we're gonna be talking about how to unlock your S23 with the S Pen. So here's my phone, I'm gonna double tap, now it's locked, okay? I'm gonna grab my S Pen, I'm gonna click the button, and that's simply going to unlock the phone. As you can see, it first activates the lock screen and then unlocks and goes inside the actual phone. So let me show that to you one more time. It's locked press the button, unlocks it, and you're good to go in the screen. So let's see how to set this up. So you go to your settings, and then you go into advanced features, and then you go into the S Pen, all right? Once you're in the S Pen, you scroll down, and you go to more S Pen settings. Once you do that, you're gonna see the S Pen unlock feature. So I just turned off the setting. I'm gonna re-enable it, when you re-enable this, it is gonna ask you to put in your PIN number. That's the PIN number you use to unlock your phone. So once I do that, I tap on continue. Now it is enabled. And now if I lock the screen, what is gonna happen is I'm gonna click the button, okay? When you click the button for the first time after activating the feature, it is gonna ask you to put your PIN number one more time for final confirmation. Or you can just do your fingerprint. So I'm gonna put my PIN, tap on okay, now it is actually set, okay? And then, now I can grab the pen, click the button, go to the lock screen, unlocks the phone. Of course, if you restart your phone, you still have to put your pin number in. If you update your phone and stuff like that, and if your S Pen disconnects from the phone using that Bluetooth connection, that feature is gonna deactivate. That is just gonna be for security. And let's say you actually wanna disable the feature, just one thing I wanna show you guys, back in the advanced features, under S Pen, and if you go back into more S Pen settings, you when you disable this, it's still gonna ask you for pin confirmation. Just something to keep in mind, but otherwise, it's a fantastic feature. You're doing something, you turn off the phone, and you just wanna go inside, I can just press the button, and it just goes straight into my phone. And I do wanna let you know, this process is happening via Bluetooth, and you can see, if I go over here to S Pen, you can see the S Pen is connected to the phone, 
but it, the phone knows it is removed because it is not in the actual chassis. If this says disconnected, that feature is going to get disabled. So that's feature number one. The next thing that's pretty amazing is some note taking features. So of course you can press this button and you can bring up the air command menu from here. You can create a note right from here. Okay, you can start writing. Or let me just X this out. You can simply go into Samsung Notes, which is this application. Let me put this out here for a minute. You can launch this application. You can create a new note and you can start writing and you can pick various pencils and pens. Now, one thing I like is if you really want to use this note taking application uh, for the classroom or maybe for engineering, for software engineering, whatever, you have the ability to draw some really nice flow charts. If you, at the bottom, we have a bar. If you scroll all the way over, there is an icon here that says auto fix shapes. So if you click this and you draw any shape, it will convert that shape to its perfect form. So triangle, okay, a rectangle, whatever you have, it's going to make it perfect. Let's go to the next page here. Uh, let's uh, do a another rectangle, I mean uh, square, okay. Inside the square you can have this, you can have this, and you can have this, okay. So it's going to make everything perfect for you. Obviously, if you don't like what it did for you, you just undo some, that and do it again. And it's going to make the other perfection for you. Even works with an arrow. So if you draw an arrow, look what it's going to do. Boom. Okay. So great for flowchart and stuff like that for the classroom, for the workplace, whatever. Let's move on to the next tactic. All right. The next feature has to do with your calendar where you can do some amazing things with the S Pen. Uh, there's two ways to access and activate this feature. First, you can simply go to the calendar. So I'm going to bring it up right here. Okay. So here's my calendar. You might see this view, okay? If you have this view, make sure to expand it, and then you're gonna see this icon on the top. That icon is the right on the calendar icon with the S Pen. So if I click on this, I can start writing on my calendar just as if I was writing on a piece of paper. On top of that, I can zoom in and get really down to it and put some really nice details, okay? So for every day of the calendar, I can do whatever I want. I can write stuff and whatever, mark stuff. I can check stuff off like this. And when you save this, okay? And let's just exit the calendar for a second. I'm gonna go back into it, calendar. When you go back into it, you're gonna see those writings on your calendar. No other phone that I know of is capable of doing something like this except for Samsung phones with the S Pen functionality. Now that's one way to activate, just simply launch the calendar. Another thing you can do is you can bring up the air command menu by pressing this button. So I press the button, I get the air command menu. Right now the option is not there. So what you do is you click on the add button at the bottom, you click on add, it takes you to the shortcuts screen. And look at this, we have this right on calendar option. You click on it, it shows up at the bottom here. Now you're done, let's exit this. Now I'm gonna bring up back the air command by clicking the button. And now I have right on calendar right here. So without having to actually launch the application, I can just press, go right inside and start writing as you can see on my calendar. This is incredible. So two ways to get that done, absolutely fantastic feature. Let's move on to the next tactic. The next thing I want to show you guys has to do with previewing stuff when you hover the S Pen over items. So for example, if I go to my gallery application here, here's a couple videos and a couple photos. If you have the certain setting enabled, you can hover over objects. So I'm not going to touch the screen, I'm just going to hover. And look, you're able to get a preview of that uh, photo and even two settings you can access right from the preview. Now, if I were to do that on a video, let's just do it on this one. The video actually starts to play. You can watch the video in this little preview window, even though I'm not touching anything, I'm just hovering over the uh, item. So let me show you how to enable this. It does work in other apps as well. So if I go to my settings, advanced features, again, S Pen, this is called as the air view. So basically you can see there's additional options. You can do previews and you can see the pointer. 
you can see pointers only and you can see preview only. Pointer means this little pointer that you shows up on the screen. You're not going to see it right now until you have your phone, but there's a little pointer that actually is indicating where the pen is pointing before it touches the screen. But I like to have both of these enabled. And look, you can even use this to scroll. You can go to the gallery, you can go to calendar. Let me just bring up calendar here. Calendar. And I can actually preview calendar entries as well, like this. So anything that you added, you can see it pops up like this without me touching the actual screen. Another great little feature that can make things easier. Now you will be using your S Pen a lot, I hope, because you have this powerful tool. One thing that you wanna do is you actually wanna customize the Air Command menu. Again, when you press the button, the Air Command menu pops just like this. At the bottom, you're gonna see settings. You click on the settings, and the first thing I want you guys to do is choose a style, so Air Command, you can have a standard style, the one that you just saw. Let me see if it works right here. Okay, this one. Or you can have a compact size. If I click over here, now I get a nice and compact size. But even if I hover over this, it'll tell me what it is. So you don't have to touch the screen. You just hover over it like magic. It tells you what that is. So that's one thing you want to do. Choose the menu style for the air command as you use it in the future. But additionally, you want to do the shortcuts. So what shortcuts do you want in the air command? So I can X all these off for a second here, and I'm gonna tell you guys, you have shortcuts for the S Pen specific features, and you can shortcut to apps as well. So I can have, let's say I use this app a lot, and this app a lot. I can have them as a shortcut, and then if I go up, let's say I wanna create notes all the time, write on the calendar all the time, and let's say I wanna do smart select all the time. So now those five features, are in my compact air command menu as you can see and if I hover over it you can see exactly what is what and of course you can add even more it's gonna be up to you I can just launch an application or I can just launch a feature like the smart select as you can see which selects any portion of the screen and takes a screenshot you can edit or save it and stuff like that okay so that was a final feature I want to talk about S Pen is a great tool there are so many more features, and of course, I'm gonna make a video showcasing all those as well. But these will give you an idea and also get you started. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.